Dem Boys, a uh, WWE on Fox tweeted out Dem Boys talking about um, Montez Ford and Bobby Lashley and these guys. And they called them Dem Boys on WWE on Fox's Twitter account. And Jay Briscoe freaked out. Maria Kanellis freaked out. Um, Jay Briscoe said basically, let me see if I can't pull it up on X here, but he's like, yo, there's only one Dem Boys in wrestling. And um, I can't believe you did this. And, you know, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, WWE, like everyone was freaking out on WWE on Fox. And I'm sitting there going, so here, so uh, WWE on Fox, at WWE on Fox tweeted out, Dem Boys, hashtag SmackDown. And it was Lashley and Ford and the Street Profits, right? So then Mark Briscoe quote tweets it and goes, for real, this shit is hilarious at triple H. Whoever runs this Twitter should probably be fired for lack of knowledge or they need to the taste slapped out of their mouth for lack of reverence. And it's just like, bro, first off, I love the Briscoes are, I got on them late, but they're one of my all time favorite teams. Jay Briscoe's death hit me so fucking hard. And the, the thing is, is that WWE on Fox has also tweeted out Dem Boys in reference to other people, which people dug up before. They did it in September to the Judgment Day, and no one said shit and got, got all up in arms. But the AEW fans and AEW people, no offense, they're sensitive lately, dude. They fucking are. They're overly sensitive, which we'll talk about with Dax in a bit as well. And I love FTR, my other favorite tag team. So I'm not trying to shit on these guys, but it's like, you can tell that they're a little sensitive and Mark Briscoe actually retracted and did say like, he didn't retract, but he's just like, dude, like I got emotional about my brother. That's it. But so he said after like, Oh yeah, that's why I quit posting on Twitter. LOL. Just log back on. Wow. Some of y'all are wild. LOL. I just miss my brother. That's all. And I got a little in my feelings when I seen the Fox post triple H, you ain't got to fire. Nobody times is tough. Love y'all. Take it light people. But you didn't take it light, but that's all good. And um, But he owned up to his mistake. But the whole thing is like, you guys, the girl who works, like the person who works at the W, first off, it's at WWE on Fox. It's not WWE who runs that Twitter account. It's probably an intern girl who's like 21 at Fox that they hired to fucking on media, on fucking on an intern budget or salary or fucking minimum wage or whatever i forgot what it was called for a second they probably hired some like 22 year old fresh out of college intern girl to tweet at fox it's like the show wwe backstage on fox that's what wwe on fox twitter account i don't think wwe runs that account okay first off it's probably some fucking intern they're calling for her job you got all these marks calling for her fucking head and then you have um maria canellis who like dipped out of Twitter entirely, dude. Um, she was my crush, dude, growing up. She's still fun like wine, daddy. But she like dipped out of Twitter entire or X, whatever you want to call it. She deleted it entirely. Um, after she had like a lash out where she said said, so first off, um, she said this is in re- reference, pardon me, to CM Punk. And she goes, seen a promo recently that was so incredibly contrived and scripted. It made me question a lot of things I thought were true. Or maybe they used to be true. And at a certain point, the grit and honesty gets washed off by money and politics. Oh, my God. Maybe it isn't possible to be successful and authentic. Maybe it's nuanced and impossible to predict, but I'm still in the struggle, so I can't understand the change. How can you forget what the fight was or the people that fought beside you? When you are still struggling to pay the bills, the motivation is very real. The words are real. (sighs) So first off, I mean, girl, now shout out Maria Canellis and Matt Bennett. I love these guys. Um... But okay, is she struggling to pay her bills? I don't know if that's true or not. Um... And people started going at her about, oh, you took the time to be a mom. Anyone shaming them are fucking completely goofballs. Like, they start shaming, mom shaming her and all this shit, dude. It's bullshit. She doesn't deserve attack either. Uh, But this isn't all she said. She also said something about the damn boys thing, right? But uh, just as far as this, like, I'm still in the struggle. Well, like... Maria, okay, we know that there were girls like 
who could go. The AJ Lees, the Lita's, the Trishas, the Natalies, the girls who can run, the Charlottes, the Beckys, these girls nowadays. Maria Canellis was in the category of, and, and I think this is brilliant, valets, we need more valets, just sexy women, women just there to be sexy. That should be a part of wrestling, I always feel like. <clears throat> Maria Canellis is in that category, and I, and I loved her. I'm not taking anything away from her or her accolades, but she and she can go, and she's great as a manager and a valet. But she was in the category of the Stacy Keeblers, the you know the Oxanas, the fucking the Candice Michelles. That's Maria Canellis, and there's there's nothing wrong with that. But um, you know that that doesn't last as long as the girls who can really really fucking go and. I don't know if you're still grinding and I don't know, like, what was it about? Like, I don't know. That feels very like, what does that have to do with punk? He He's not in the struggle. He doesn't have to struggle to pay his bills, you know? So like, it's hard to stay authentic. No, I think it's now when you have fuck you money, I think it's easier to stay really authentic and, Maybe he couldn't be like, I think there's more people tiptoeing around Tony who are afraid to say what they really think and be authentic because of the pay, because if they don't be authentic or if they do be authentic, then where are they going to go? Right. The thing with punk is he could just go to WWE. If he said, fuck you and punched people, he could just show up back there. Not everyone can do that. If you could do that, you'd do it too. And you'd say what the fuck you wanted. So I think this is a little bit of, projection a bit of just um guys I, there's a biggie notorious big um sketch it's called the mad rapper and the mad rapper go fuck is that he's on a talk show and it's like Hi, hello i'm here with the mad rapper and mad rapper has a concern and or whatever or, or it's like we have a call for you mad rapper and a guy's on the phone he's like yo what you so mad for why are you always so mad and the guy's like because man this is my fourth album dog i've been in these streets 20 years this is my fourth album fuck is that why are you more john Bla- I'm more john blaze than that never let yourself become mad rapper guys if you're doing something you love or something you think you love or something you're passionate about and you start becoming mad rapper where you're hating on every don't ever become mad rapper keep that shit moving make a pivot transition switch it up take a break do something that you know where you can channel that shit into something better i'm telling you Maria Canella sounds very mad rapperish. Focus on more John Blaze than that. I've been in for, for this my fourth album. You know, it comes across a little like that. So no hate, but yeah, that seems a little that seems a little fucked. Um, and then Maria Canella said something about the Dem Boys, and I want to pull that up too. But she deleted her whole ass, her whole ass Twitter. So um. Let me just see if I can't find it quickly, guys. Sorry for the delay in time here. The dead air or whatever. Me, Scooby, do I'll do a Moxley promo. Yeah, I'm so cool. I'm just a cool dude. I can't find it, but basically she's like, this is, there's only one boy, them boys, and they should be ashamed and but and It's just like, dude, it's some fucking girl who works at wwe on fox like it's not someone in w they're not doing it to take a shot wwe acknowledged jay briscoe when he was on um when he passed away r.i.p and and uh yeah it's it's um they acknowledged him by his real name even and said the wrestling world lost someone important Da, da 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 so they would never just take a shot at something like that it's just and dem boys people pointed out like it's an old saying first off the cowboys call themselves that and not only that um you have the you know the boys into hood song and uh wiz khalifa weed and boys that's where i first heard it more popular popularized um because like the song boys into hood dem boys i don't think it was super popular maybe i'm wrong about that but i don't recall that like i'm very familiar with boys into hood i'm not familiar with the song dem boys until people brought it up and i was like oh yeah but the song weed and boys that was actually on the wwe 2k15 soundtrack as well so i don't know man it just seems like people came out of pocket taking that personally and offensively and AEW kind of responded by at roh final battle they did a like a 
Jay Briscoe Memorial match, which we're going to talk about in a bit. Um, I'm reading here too that JR once accidentally recently said that there's nothing like WWE instead of AEW. And I wonder, I don't know. I've been saying he's probably out of here for a while, but yeah, dude, uh, just that was a bad look. 